7 News always investigating, learning no students can use the Erie High School track and football field. The stadium needs repairs because it just keeps flooding. Amanda Cost uncovering the stadium is primed to flood again. The sounds of competition silenced here. The Erie High School track and football field eerily quiet. St. Vrain Valley School District searching for a Hail Mary solution. I know that track isn't going to have any home meets this year because of everything that's happened. Repeated flooding. Home field hit by a rainstorm last August. This picture posted online captioned Coach Gartrell needing a kayak. We found the cleanup bill nearly $100,000. A temporary fix exploited by Mother Nature a month later. Constant rain statewide in September. It was a huge flood. Wiping out the Erie High track and field again. Every time it rains, there's always a little bit going around. And then when it flooded in September, then it just kind of just piled everything on top. An even bigger problem, this path. When it rains, water flows directly down from farmland all the way on to this track and field. The slope, this grading, failing. The field vulnerable when it rains. 7 News wanted to know when Tiger Turf will be fixed for good. But the day before our scheduled on-camera interview with the chief of operations, the district canceled. But if they like, could actually fix it, that would be nice. A district spokesperson acknowledged design, drainage, and mitigation issues here need to be addressed. The district paying $12,000 in design fees for a plan to divert water for good. It's tough. Like, you always want to have, like, home field advantage. But for now, dreams of home field advantage are benched. Amanda Cost, 7 News. And right now, the school district is taking bids to replace the turf this summer, and it is moving forward with plans for a permanent solution to those drainage problems on Erie's track and field.